Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Neem. Today, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba natin hahanapin ang percentage, base, and rate sa isang math problem. Before we start with the first example, tuturo ko muna sa inyo yung triangle diagram na ginagamit natin sa paghahanap ng percentage or kaya naman ng base or kaya naman ng rate. So, you have this triangle. So, dun sa taas niya, we have letter P that stands for the percentage. At dito naman, sa left side, we have letter B stands for the base and R for the rate. Now that we already have this triangle diagram, let us now generate the formula in finding the percentage, base, and rate. Teacher, paano po kapag percentage yung nawawala? Okay, so hanapin natin ang P or yung percentage. Equate natin siya dun sa dalawang letters na natira sa ilalim. We have base and rate. P is equal to B times R. Dahil magkatabi yung base and rate, imumultiply lang natin silang dalawa to find the percentage. Teacher, paano naman po kung ang nawawala ay yung base? Okay, so kunin natin tong B, lagay natin siya dito, at equate natin siya dun sa dalawang letters na natira. Ano ba yung dalawang letters na natira? Nung kinuha natin yung B, we have P over R. Okay, so we have Percentage divided by rate. So, ito na yung formula in finding the base. How about kung ang nawawala naman ay yung rate? Kuhanin natin yung rate. Lagay natin dito yung R. And then, equate natin naman siya dun sa dalawang letters na natira. So, you have P over B or percentage divided by base. Alright, so let's have example number one. What is 5% of 60? But before that, paano ba muna natin ma-identify kung nasaan ba dyan ang percentage, ang base, at rate? Uh, ano ba muna yung base? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng base? Okay, unahin ko na to ha, yung base. Kasi yung base, siya yung kabuuan. Okay? The entire amount, siya yun. While yung percentage naman... Uh, ito naman yung number na kinukuha lang natin dun sa base. Depende sa rate na ibinigay. While yung rate naman, ito naman yung laging uh, may percent sign. Okay? So, in this kind of question, yung base, uh, it is always associated with the word of. Tandaan nyo yan. While yung percentage naman, it is always associated with the word is and yung rate, iyan yung laging may percent sign or percent symbol. Okay, so now balikan ulit natin yung example number 1. What is 5% of 60? Uh, dahil alam nyo na yung hint na binigay ko sa inyo kanina na yung percentage laging associated yan with the word is and then yung base of at yung rate naman ay laging may percent sign. Okay, so, ano ba tong 5% na yan? 5% na yan, yan ang ating rate. Okay, that is represented by capital letter R. And then, yung 60 naman na to, yan naman yung base. Because it is associated with the word of. So, i-represent natin siya as capital letter B. Now, ano yung nawawala? Yun ay ang percentage. Okay? So, kanina, dun sa ginawa natin na triangle diagram, uh, nasa taas yung P, and then sa baba niya, yung B and R. P is equal to B times R. Okay? So, now, substitute lang natin yung base and then yung, yung base na 60 and then yung rate na 5% to get the percentage. What is the base? 
60 then multiply it by the rate 5%. So, itong 5% na yan, i-convert na natin siya agad into decimal para mas mabilis natin siyang masagutan. Okay. So, magiging ano yung 5%? Magiging 0.05. Okay. So, para dun sa mga hindi nakapanood ng tutorial video ko in converting percent to decimal. So, ganito lang yun kadali. Uh, Mag-move lang tayo ng dalawa papunta sa left kaya siya naging 0.05. Okay? Nawala na yung percent sign at ito ay napalitan ng decimal point. Move ka lang dito ng dalawang beses papunta sa kaliwa kaya naging 0.05. Yung percent sign mo ay naging decimal point. Okay, now, isolve na natin ang percentage. So, we have 60 times 0.05. Okay? So, ito na yung traditional way na gagawin natin. We have 0, we have 30, and then 0, 0, bring down 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, the answer is 3. Ibig sabihin, uh, 3 is 5% of 60. Proceed tayo ngayon sa example number 2. 6 is what percent of 40. Identify muna natin kung nasaan ba dyan ang base, ang percentage, at ang rate. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, ang percentage is always associated with the word is. Obviously, itong 6 na to ay ang ating percentage. And, ano naman tong 40 na to? Of 40. Yan ang ating base. At ang nawawala na percent Yan ang rate. Now, ano ba yung formula kaninang nabuo natin in finding the rate? R is equal to P over B. Or, rate is equal to percentage divided by the base. Okay, now, i-substitute na natin ang value ng percentage at base to get the rate. So, you have R is equal to 6 over 40 or 6 divided by 40. Paano na natin siya i-divide ngayon? Uh, 6 will be our um, dividend and 40 will be our divisor. So, yung 6, yan yung nasa loob. At yung 40 ang nasa labas. But we cannot divide 6 by 40. Anong gagawin natin? mag a tayo ng decimal point at 0. And then, yung decimal point na to ay kopyahin natin dito sa quotient. Okay? Or dun sa magiging sagot natin. Now, 60 divided by 40 is equal to 1. Sulat natin dun. And then, 1 times 40 is equal to 40. Then, subtract lang natin, have 20. And then, add another 0. Then, bring down natin yung 0. 200 divided by 40 is equal to 5. 5 times 40 is equal to 200. And 200 minus 200 is equal to 0. So, ang rate na nakuha natin is 0.15 or 15%. Paano naging 15%? Iminove lang natin ng dalawang beses yung ating decimal point at pinalatan natin yon ng percent sign. Now, let's have example number 3. 30% of what number is 27? Identify ulit natin nasan ba dyan ang base, ang percentage at rate. Obviously, itong 30% na to, yan ang ating rate. And yung 27, it is associated with the word is... Then, it is the percentage. At yung nawawala na number, yun naman ang ating base. So, hahanapin natin ang base. Ano nga ulit yung formula natin in finding the base? We have B is equal to P over R. Or, B is equal to 27 divided by point. 30. Yan. Kinonvert ko na yung percent to 
decimal. Sabi ko kanina, yung numerator yan ang ating dividend at yung ating denominator ang magiging divisor. 27, siya yung nasa loob. Then, divide natin yan by 0.30. Okay. So, paano ba tayo nag-divide ng whole number by a decimal? Meron din akong ginawang tutorial video para dito. Uh, kung gusto niyo mapanood, search niyo na lang. Uh, I-move natin muna yung decimal point to the right ng dalawang beses para maging whole number yung 30. Yung, yung point 30. So, magiging 30 siya. Okay? 1, 2. So, yung decimal point na to malilipat dun sa kanan. Kaya, siya ay magiging whole number na. Kung ilang beses ka nag-move, Ganon din dito sa dividend. 1, 2. Kaya, nadagdagan siya ng dalawang 0. At pwede na tayo mag-proceed ngayon to division. Uh, 2 divided by 30, hindi pwede. 27 divided by 30, hindi pa rin. 270 divided by 30 is equal to 9. So, dito mo siya itatapat sa 0 na to Kasi, dinivide natin yung 270 by 30. Kaya, doon natin itatapat yung answer. Now, 9 times 30 is equal to 270. And then, 270 minus 270 is equal to 0. At i-bring down natin yung isang 0. 0 divided by 30 is equal to 0. 0 times 30 is equal to 0. And 0 minus 0 is 0. Therefore, the base is equal to... 90. Ibig sabihin, 30% of 90 is 27. Alright, I hope natuto kayo sa aralin natin ngayon sa paghahanap ng base percentage at rates sa isang math problem. Kung natuto, pakilike naman ang video na to and please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Thank you and stay healthy. Shout out pala kay Crowdy. I don't know kung na-pronounce ko ng tama yung channel niya. So, ito. Subscribe kayo sa channel niya, guys. And kay Warren Kore, hello!